Hi, a good Sunday morning. I hope you utilize the first half of this weekend to relax, rejuvenate, recharge your battery, and get yourself all ready for a brand new week. A week where you can move quickly towards achieving your goals, dreams, desires, aspirations, and create the life you desire and deserve. I'd like to share with you a message. This morning I got up bright and early and I had the honor, privilege, and pleasure of driving my mom to the airport. She's going away for the week to somewhere even warmer than where I am to recharge her batteries. As you all who have a mom or are a mom or live with a mom know that nobody needs more recharge or rejuvenation than a mom. So as she's preparing and making sure she has everything she needs for this trip, she tells me, could you take out the garbage? Do you know how to take the garbage out? And she's giving me instructions that I should go and move the two cans out. I should only take out the cans that are full and I should put them alongside the curb, spaced apart, so the truck that comes with the arm can pick them up and dump her garbage into the truck. And as she's telling this to me, my first response was, God, do I know how to take the garbage out? I have a family. I have a business. I have a granddaughter. I mean, I've achieved a lot of my life. I figured a lot of things out on my own. I learned how to parent. I learned how to grandparent. I learned how to, I went to school. I have a master's degree. Do I know how to take the garbage out? My initial response was the type of initial response that most of us have when somebody tells us something haphazardly, not concentrating, just simply telling us a comment with no ill intent. And I got charged up inside like, like how do you have the audacity to even ask me that question? Of course I know how to take the garbage out. But as I went out and I'm taking the garbage out, I realized she had no ill intent. She just was tied up in her mind, going through her checklist in her head of everything she needs to get done, and was just talking with like the side of her brain, telling me what to do, giving me this instruction, without even recognizing who she's talking to and rethinking it even for one second, whether she's giving the instruction to a nine-year-old kid or to me. And I realized we take so many things personal when it's totally not intended that way. She, of course she has respect for me and admires me and recognizes that I have the capability to take the garbage out. But we in our own minds decide the song, the way it was said, who said it, what it means, what it represents about us. And we can turn something so benign into something that can really bother us. And we can come to the termination. She doesn't respect me. She doesn't care about me. She doesn't realize what I'm capable of and so on. When, in essence, she meant nothing besides to ask me to take the garbage out, but wasn't fully engaged when she was giving me the instruction. So I needed to grasp myself and realize, just take the garbage out. She didn't mean anything, because as soon as she got into the car, we had an adult conversation, and she entrusted me with very, very complicated things and asked me for advice, and it was a great conversation. I want you all to realize that most of the times when we get frustrated and stressed, it's our interpretation of who gave us the message, what the message was, what they intended, and what it represents and means to us. The more we learn to control the, everything around the message that comes, to control in our mind, and to put it in a perspective that empowers us, makes us feel strong, makes us feel good, makes us feel happy, makes us feel the way we need to feel to succeed, the way we need to feel to feel good and happy. But the same thing is with most messages that we receive throughout the day. I would say over 90% of the time when we're frustrated, when we're angry, when we're upset, when we feel hurt, it was never the intent of the sender. It's the way we choose to interpret and process it. But the more we learn how to manage our emotions, the more we take responsibility for our emotions, the more we realize that we're the one that causes us most of the stress we have. The good news is that we have the power to change that. We have the power to put a good spin on it.
we have the power to process it in a way that makes us feel happy, satisfied. The, pro the way that we need to feel and want to feel. And it's all in our hands. So in these videos that I keep on posting, my goal is to be able to help you, to be able to gain that sense of control, to be able to recognize, to be able to know, which we, most of us do know in our heads, but more importantly, how to be able to feel the way we need to feel around these things, that it doesn't go on automatic pilot the way it might go till now, to put in a new set of technology that the automatic pilot is to interpret everything in a way that serves us and makes us feel good and makes us feel empowered and makes us feel strong. Please continue following my videos and I will deliver this toolbox of skills, tools that you need to be able to live the life you desire and deserve, for you to feel the way you need to feel, to live a great quality of life and experience a life full of joy, happiness, satisfaction. I just want to bring it to your attention that my YouTube channel currently has over 50 videos about these ideas of achieving the life you desire and deserve. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for access to all these great videos, and I'll continue posting them in the days to come. Have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.